Hi everyone, Dennis Foley from Acoustic Fields. Today we're going to talk about an RTA. Uh, we call it a resolution time analyzer. It's not its real name. Its real name is a real time analyzer, but it really is about resolution. And this is what you have to kind of understand about your room. It's like the blood test for your room, all on one screen. If you know how to look at it and you know how to understand it, isn't that how any data goes, right? Static measurements, you're all uh, familiar with those. One microphone in the center of the room. The computer does all the processing. The microphone and the computer have to make up for thousands of reflections and variables and then put them into a static response curve. Well, that might be a picture in time at that particular time. It's like a movie with individual frames. That might be one of the frames in the movie you're looking at, the response at that particular time. Increase the gain one dB, see what happens. You don't have a feel for that from these kind of measurements, okay? So there's a number given, I'm sure, that the test was done at, but it's not, you can't relate to it. You can't use it as a comparative base. If you study your room in real time, you can. How do you do that? Download an RTA app on your phone. There's tons of them in the Apple Store. Have it on your phone. Use the microphone in your phone. Sit it on your desk and watch how sound moves in the room. You'll start to see patterns. You'll see it in real time. You'll hear a sound. You'll see the visual representation of it. I can't think of a better way to learn. It's like reading a book and taking a test. We need more of that today. These advertisers then wouldn't be able to get away with the nonsense that they get away with today. Study the room movement in real time. Use multiple sources. Don't just use one song, use multiple sources. Use multiple music types, classic rock, jazz. The room should show some consistent patterns. Look at the low frequency, mids and highs, divided into three groups. The lows are less than 100. Look for the peaks. There's always going to be peaks. All right. What is the frequency range of those peaks? Usually 30 to 50, 60, 70, right in there. That's why the ACDA 10 was designed from 30, or the ACDA 12 from 30 to 50 strong. 35% at 30, 63% per square foot at 40, 100% at 50. This is the kind of horsepower that you need to deal with that peak that you're now seeing in this video clip. Look at how this room is moving. Let's just stay focused on below 100. Forget the other stuff, which is remarkably good, by the way. But anyway, we'll get to that in another video. Let's just stay focused on the energy below 100, so we have a peak. We have too much energy in relationship to the rest of the curve. You can see that. So that's what we want to focus on for our treatment. So we have this curve with this big bump, and we're going to push on that bump. People say, well, push on this bump too. No, leave this bump alone. Push on this bump. This is related to this. You have to treat this first because nothing's related to this. This is the fundamental start point of source. Focus on this first. We'll get to that. We'll get to this. But you find that if you focus on this first, these start to relax. It's like if you have a tight muscle, you get it to relax over time, pressure, and treatment. Okay. What is the maximum, de what is the uh, increase in this peak? You can measure it. If this is zero, is this 10 dB over the baseline? Start to get a feel for how your room reacts to energy. The room only sees energy. The RTA only sees energy. They're compatible species. Use how to make them work together. Study how your room moves. You're gonna, when you're listening to music, have it on your chair. Watch how energy moves in the room. You know what low frequency instruments are, bass, kick drum, bass guitar. Watch how they move. Look at each octave band. You can even increase the resolution if you want to. Start out with, you know, sixth is a good start. You know, you can bump up as you get more experience. 
Then there's FFT. We'll talk about that in another, for those that are really experienced. What walls do we treat after we've located our problem here? You can see it visually. Where's it coming from? Which walls are it on? It's going to be on two, right? Axial modes are two walls. So we've got to treat two walls. The dimensions will tell you that. That's, you can do that manually, but there's software that will tell you that. So once we locate the walls, now how much treatment do we need? Well, we've got to figure out we've got a 10 dB problem here. Each one of our carbon ACDA and carbon panel series is about 1.25 to 1.5 dB attenuation. We got a 10 dB problem. We look about eight units. Pretty simple physics and math at that point. Getting to that point is the hard part for people, okay? The rate of the treatment performance has got to match the pressure. If this is a 30 to 50 cycle issue, the treatment has to be 30 to 50. You can extend farther, of course, but it can't be less. And it has to have enough horsepower. 10 dB peaks, no boxes filled with building insulation can manage that kind of pressure. Only a pressure activated technology, diaphragmatic, membrane, or Hemholtz. Hemholtz is too frequency specific and the performance is poor. You need a lot of them. Membrane, not enough horsepower. It's the cousin to diaphragmatic. Diaphragmatic is the most powerful. You have to stay with that. It's just important. What I want you to do is to listen to the peak and then listen through it as if it wasn't there. Because that's what treatment will do for you. It gets rid of it. First, you got to quantify, qual qualify, quantify. You hear it. You don't like it. So you have to fix it. Then we have to decide where we're going to put the treatment. Most of these 10 dB peaks take about eight of our units, four on the opposite offending walls. Remember axial modes? And these are all axial. They're the loudest, biggest pressure pr producing problems. And they're always between two walls. The walls are, which walls it'll be will depend on your room size. How big the problem will be, be dependent on room size and how much energy you put in your room or usage. So a good exercise in real time to study how the energy in your room works. If you study how the room manages energy and sees energy, you can better apply the treatment and you can reduce the distortions of the room, which increases the resolution. And you hear more in your music. I guarantee you, if this was your response curve, you're missing out on so much low end. Definition. Bass notes can sound like guitar licks. They can be that clean, crisp, and defined. You're just missing all this. Too much pressure, too much smothering, too much blurring. You got to fix those things. Use an RTA. Take a picture of your room and study it. That picture is definitely going to be worth a thousand notes when you're listening. I hope this helps. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video. And if you liked it, please give us a thumbs up. We also have a newsletter that you can subscribe to, so please do that because we offer special price discounts to only those on our newsletter. And then don't forget about our forum. We have started a forum on our own website where people ask questions and I usually get a chance every couple days to look at it. There's an interchange between people on the forum and we'll give you real answers uh, on a regular basis, so that'll help you. Thank you.